Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing, assembling, and reviewing the seat for the Eisenwheel GT2 electric scooter. So a lot of you might not even be aware that there is a seat available. So Eisenwheel sells a seat on their website and you can also pick up the seat for the GT2 on Amazon. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So this is the box that the seat did arrive in. As you can see, it's in perfect condition, no type of damage whatsoever. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox the seat, share with you all the components, do the assembly, take the scooter for a ride, and then just give you my final thoughts on the seat. All right, so opening up the box, let's go ahead and just take a look at how everything is packaged. Now, I've been reviewing Eisenwell products for a while now, and they always do an excellent job with the packaging. And as you can see here, we got the styrofoam up on top. Let me go ahead and remove that. And let me go ahead and grab the camera just so I can give you a closer look on how everything is packaged here. As you can see, you got the seat, you got the screws, you got the posts. And what I like about this is that the styrofoam is molded to fit all the parts for the seat here. So again, everything is looking good, no type of damage. We got the seat covered in plastic. We got bubble wrap uh, for the rest of the components there. Very, very nice. And this is how everything is looking out of the box. Nothing is damaged. Uh, these are all the parts that will be included for the seat on the Eisenwheel GT2 here. So one thing you are gonna need is the tools that came with your Eisenwheel GT2, the toolkit, because you are gonna need an Allen wrench as well as a normal wrench. So this is the size of the Allen wrench you are going to want to use, because the first thing what you wanna do is remove the two screws that are on the deck of the Eisenwheel GT2. Now, I also wanna mention that there is no instructions, there's no type of manual on how to assemble the seat. So I have some experience on previous scooters of a seat assembly. So I'm just kind of going off of the knowledge that I already have, but that would have been nice to have instructions uh, included in the box for the assembly of the seat. But I'm gonna do the best I can here with the knowledge that I have, but we're gonna go ahead and remove those two screws to the back of the deck. Now the mounting post here, we're gonna go ahead and secure this part to the deck of the Eisenwheel GT2. Now there is a folding bracket and you want that folding bracket to be facing the back of the scooter. So you wanna place it just like that. Then go ahead and grab the bag with the four little screws. So this is how these screws are going to look. So we're gonna go ahead and place uh, two screws to the back. So the screws that we just removed, we're gonna replace those with two screws that are in the bag. Now you don't wanna tighten these all the way super tight. You just wanna get them in first, You know, screw them in with your hand, and then you can go ahead and grab an Allen wrench and just slightly secure the screws into the deck, but don't you screw them in all the way super tight. Next thing what you wanna do is install two other screws to the front portion of the mounting post here. Now, this is gonna to have to go through the grip tape. Now, this screw here seems to go in perfectly fine. It's going in through the grip tape, and as you can see, I can just um, you know tighten it there a little bit with the Allen wrench. So it's gonna to have to go through the grip tape again. All right, so with this screw on this side, I had some trouble getting it through the grip tape. So I went ahead and used a smaller Allen wrench to poke a hole through the grip tape. And now I'm gonna be able to get the screw in with no problems whatsoever. So you might have to do that. You might have to poke a hole through the grip tape. And once I did that, no problems whatsoever. I'm able to screw in the final screw. Now at this point, you wanna go ahead and tighten all the screws now. You wanna make sure they're all nice, tight, and secure. You don't want any type of movement on the uh, mounting posts on your deck right there. So you wanna make sure, you know, tighten all those. You don't want any type of movement uh, with this post when you are riding your GT2 here. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty secure now, it's pretty tight, and I shouldn't have any issues with any type of stem wobble. All right, moving on, let's go ahead and take a look at this seat here. A very wide seat, very plush, 
I really like the materials here. It looks like it's gonna be super comfortable. You got springs to the uh, bottom portion of the seat there. So this is definitely looking like a good quality seat. Now right here, you're gonna to have to remove those two screws now. So you wanna go ahead and get your uh, wrench there that is in your toolkit. And then you can go ahead and remove the screws that are gonna be on the right and the left hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this screw off. And then you're gonna to wanna to get all these parts off from the bottom of the seat there. So as you can see, I got uh, this screw off and then you're gonna get these mounting brackets off and that screw is gonna come off. And so um, what you wanna do next is don't do what I did. I thought I could apply the seat to the post now and just install the seat like this. But for some reason, I was not able to install the seat like this. I tried for a good amount of time and it was, it was just not working. I just could not get the seat attached to the post here. And uh, I tried several different ways and it just was not working. I could not get the seat attached. So this is what I ended up doing. I just ended up, all right, so this was the easiest way for me to figure out how to assemble this portion of the seat. So you're gonna get the long screw, the two brackets, one bracket goes on the outside, one bracket goes on the inside. Then go ahead and grab the folding mechanism uh, post here. So the post with the folding mechanism, now that is going to go above the metal bar where the springs are just like that. So you need it a place like that in order to fold the seat correctly. As you can see the two brackets there. Then you're gonna add the other two brackets to the other side of the post. Now the bracket is connected to this piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, bracket. And then the other piece, I'm just gonna leave that off to the side because I don't think I need to use that. I'll double check with Ice and Wheel. I'll send them a message and see if that pieces needed, but I, from my understanding, it's just these two brackets is what you need in order to secure uh, the seat to the post with the folding mechanism here. So one piece the, is gonna go this way, as you can see, I'll show you right there. So that's how the first one goes. And then you're going to make sure that is on correctly. And then you can go ahead and grab the second one right here. The second clamp and then that is going to go to the outer portion and then uh, make sure everything is on correctly now this assembly will take you a couple minutes to do uh, just take your time with it you want to make sure you are doing this correct but that is how everything should look now at this point you can go ahead and grab the screws right here so there should be two of them one for the right and one for the left hand side. All right, so now what you wanna do is go ahead and grab your wrench, because you wanna make sure these bolts are nice and tight as well. Uh, you don't want this seat to be moving on you, so make sure they're nice and tight. At this point, you can go ahead and apply the seat post to the seat mount right there, and then you can drop it down a little lower, depending on your height, you can bring it up a little higher as well. Now, once you find that comfortable uh, height level with the seat, you can go ahead and lock it in with the clamp right there. Now, if this clamp, it might need to be tightened or it might need to be loosened. So in order to do that, all you gotta do is just rotate it. Uh, one direction is going to make it loose and the other direction is going to make that bracket tighter. So what you wanna do is make sure it is tight and once you get it nice and tight, just fold in the bracket just like so. And that should be it. That's pretty much the assembly when it comes to the seat on the Isonwheel GT2. Now you got the little um, lever right there which folds the seat forward and just double check it, make sure everything is assembled correct before your first ride. Again, this is how I believe the seat is assembled. It looks to be correct in my opinion. Uh, again, I'll double check with Ice and Wheel, I'll send them a message, and I'll let you know in the comment section if this is in fact the correct way. Now to the bottom there, you got another bracket and a little button you're gonna press in. And then once you press that in, the post will fold down and then you can go ahead and adjust the seat to the side right there. Um, go ahead and lock the mechanism back in. And as you can see, this seat is designed perfect for the GT2. Then you can fold down your handlebars, um, release the folding mechanism there, 
fold down the stem of the scooter and then I'll share with you just how portable and compact this scooter becomes even with the seat on so as you can see you know like I mentioned this seat was really designed perfect for the GT2 here as you can see how everything folds down you can still carry the scooter you know put it into the trunk of your car under the office desk you know carry it into the subway super super portable and compact and then just the complete opposite when it's time to you know bring your scooter back up and fold the stem there uh, lock in the folding mechanism unfold your handlebars raise up the seat post here and then again there's going to be a little button on the side you got to press in raise up the bottom folding mechanism and then just make sure that's nice and tight and then you can adjust the seat adjust the seat height and just put it back to that comfortable level of riding lock in the bracket right there and then the little lever right there brings the seat back into the correct position but yeah that's that's pretty much it i really like the way this looks as you can see uh, me sitting on the seat right here you can definitely feel those springs underneath the seat there very very plush wide saddle that you are getting here and i have size 10 and a half shoes and i'll go ahead and share with you how my feet look on the deck of the scooter here all right so next i'm gonna go ahead and head on out with the ice and wheel gt2 ride around with it for a little bit with the seat on and then i'll share with you my final thoughts in just a little bit but yeah let's head on out All right, guys, so, you know, I rode this scooter with the seat on all around the lake, around the campground where I'm at right now, and it is a lot of fun to be riding this scooter with the seat. Now, I think this is a great addition to the Ice and Wheel GT2. I will say it does take some getting used to, so if you're used to, you know, standing on the electric scooter, sitting down is a different riding experience. So I would say start off slow, you know, don't go super fast in the beginning until you get more comfortable riding with the seat on. The seat is super comfortable it's a very wide saddle you can feel those springs underneath the seat there when you go over bumps you feel that bounciness to the seat so it's a very very comfortable seat one thing that i did notice when i was riding for a little bit is that the seat did lower on me so the height went down so what i had to do was get out my tools the wrench and just kind of re-tighten the bolts and make sure everything was, again, super, super tight when it came to the bolts. And that did prevent the seat from lowering down on me. So just kind of keep that in mind, make sure all those bolts are really nice and tight before you ride. Other than that, I think this is a great addition to the Ice and Wheel GT2. This can be perfect for those that have some mobility issues. Maybe standing is going to cause some discomfort, especially for long rides. You can go ahead and get the seat and you can have a more comfortable ride sitting instead of standing uh, that can be good for those that have some mobility issues and even those that are going on long range scooter rides you know this scooter can go well over 20 miles off of full charge standing for 20 miles can get a little uncomfortable if you get the seat you can just sit back and cruise on your ice and wheel gt2 again i think this is a really nice addition as you can see earlier in the video there is some assembly required hopefully this video does help you out but I really like this seat. I'm gonna continue riding around the lake and just cruise with the seat on. If you're interested in this seat, I'll drop a link in the description below of this video to Ice and Will's website, as well as to Amazon, where you can purchase the seat. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. This is Paul Tech. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.